we knew it was coming. It was just kind of figuring out when, when the right time was. And this feels, this feels like the right time to us. People are ready. It just feels right. It's been a while since we've you know, worked on this, on this title. People are starting to put their old consoles away. When we went back to play it, we discovered a couple things, how much fun it was and how much we loved it. You know, everyone on the team has been in bands since forever. How far short it fell of the original goals that we had for Rock Band. If you want a, a, a game about being in a band, anytime we put out a game, half the responses are, this is great, where's Rock Band for? We're, you know, not being egotistical, but we're obviously the people to make it. We're not doing rock band because we have to. We have 2,168 songs. We're not doing a new rock band game because someone told us to. That we're prepping to, to bring over. We're making a new rock band because we want to make a new rock band. It feels almost like coming home. The makeup of the team that we have right now feels a lot like it did back in, you know, the early 2000s. No one seems to have written down anywhere how all of this is supposed to work, That's so I don't know what to do. That is true, but, but... I've never felt more like I work at an indie studio than, like, right now. The question is, like, the mystery things. Mm -hmm. We can probably sit for an hour this afternoon and just power through them. Sure, you that'd know? be great. We're driving towards all of our own decisions. We're choosing what's best for the projects of our own accord, like, we don't have external people really driving those decisions for us. So it, you know, even though things can get kind of crazy, it feels really good because we're still in control of it. Soon everything will be okay. Things up. I mean, it doesn't do anything else either, but like it pops up and the game keeps going and nothing explodes. So I'm gonna consider that a win. Yeah, sure. Oh, oh, they 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 Apple Fritter is in my office. Oh, okay. right there. You went to the office again. The studio vibe compared to where it was a few years ago is, like unbelievably energized. Everyone in the studio has that kind of like, that creative recharge where, you know, we don't, we're not responsible to anyone but ourselves. We don't have to answer to anyone but our own kind of like creative vision, creative mandates. And we had a great relationship with MTV. They had a lot of opinions about where the game should go and they were good opinions, but it also made it difficult for us to follow our instincts a lot of times. And, and one of the things that I'm most excited about is the way in which this game will reflect the character of the people that are working on it. To us, Rock Band 4 is about expanding on the feeling that you are playing with your, your, your bandmates and you're playing a live game. You know, Rock Band's all about the fantasy of being a rock star and being in a band and getting to feel like you're playing music and being expressive. The stuff that we've been able to add to the core experience really is like a truer version of what we originally had in mind. Rock Band 3 had tons of things in it. It was something for everyone, basically. You know, in retrospect, I, I think we innovated in a lot of areas that were not necessarily the right ones. We're really trying very hard this time around to be very creative in ways that will impact everybody in the band. We are making an attempt to stay as focused as we can. I'm really, I'm, I'm hoping that we can surprise people with the kinds of things that we can accomplish. Rock Band has been kind of like the quintessential party game and I think you'll see just a, you know, a, a lot of energy around the gameplay that's in Rock Band 4. There's a lot of stuff percolating in our, in our feature set that um, that we really want to talk about and figuring out how to do that, frankly, is like, you know, a tremendous amount of work and work that we're still doing, which is why we're not talking about those kinds of feature details now. And it's important to note, too, that the type of person that responded to this survey is probably a rock band fan anyway. Yep. So we, yes. I wouldn't expect the results to be that different. The survey we put out has had over 67,000 people respond to. We actually got a lot of user info from not just the rock band community, which is nice. So if, if all of these folks own, it's, you know what I mean, it's like looking yeah. at like who owns all the DLC and what consoles do they have? Right? It's pretty clear that people want to use their existing instruments, that's fair. Uh, and it's pretty clear that people like if they purchase songs, they want access to the songs they already bought. We have so many users that, one, spent a lot of money, but two, love our games so much that they have all of our content that is possibly available, literally all of it, and we want to we want to be good by that. We have a brand new engine with a lot of new graphical capabilities and new audio capabilities. We've actually evolved the franchise so we can push ourselves harder creatively. There is some evolution of the way that you play that's in this game that really wouldn't have been possible if we made the game a couple of years ago. Expectations are really complicated when it comes to Rock Band because our 
our audience is so diverse. Now, we're, we're very indie. In the past, we had like bigger teams and sort of like the corporate overlords and a lot of different masters that we had to serve. The video game industry is tough as hell. You know, the stakes are really high for the studio. That can be stressful for people, but I also think it brings out the best in people. Rock Band is a big bet for us because, you know, we think it has the potential to hit a lot of people and to improve a lot of people's video gaming experiences, you know? Um, and we hope it does well.